Okay, guys, so the next thing that we want to look at is we actually want to begin to play with this, the steering aspect of it. Because we're not always going to just have our robot just go straight out and straight back. Sometimes it's going to, we want to, we're going to want to have a turn. So as we begin to play with this, we can kind of see that we get, you know, up to 100. We don't really know what that means. Is that 100%? What is that? So um, in this next challenge, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get your robot to drive forward five rotations, then turn not, and drive forward back to where you started from. So a little bit different than the first one where it just drove out and then backed up five rotations. This one, we want it to actually turn and then drive forward back to the starting point. Now what that means is we're going to have to play with this one a little bit because we don't really know what this means. We don't know, does this, you know, if we put this at um, 50, you know, what is that going to do? If we put it at 100, what's it going to do? Um, if it's at, let's type in 50 and then put it at one rotation, what does that look like? What is it going to do? You know what, this is something that um, programmers deal with all the time. And this is a kind of a skill called debugging. Debugging is where you run it and you try it, you see what happens, and then you fix it. And you fix it if it doesn't work right. So don't expect to get it perfect the first time. And you're going to probably have to try a program, plug it in, download it, put it on the ground, run it, see what happens, see if it worked right. If it didn't work right, that's okay. Change your program a little bit, plug it back in, read down the new program, try it again. And it, it's going to take a few times. It's going to take a little bit of time to figure it out. So one of the things, as we, especially as we get into more and more complex programming, one of the things that I always recommend is do little bits of pieces and then test it. Because if you put this whole big long program together and then you try to run it and it doesn't work, you're going to have to go back and try to find where it didn't work. So this is a really good first skill to learn is to do a little bit at a time, see what happens, and then try it, and then fix it, you know, change your program if you need to, and then come back and try it again. So I'm going to show you what it should look like. I'm not going to show you in here because this is what I want you guys to kind of work through and challenge with is how do we get this set? What should this steering number be? What should our rotations be? Um, and then what, what I want you to do and what I'm going to show you on the robot is what it should look like. It's going to drive forward five rotations. It's going to turn and then it's going to drive back. All right. So the one clue that I'll give you is you'll need three of these. Okay, so five rotations, turn, five rotations back. Okay, all right, I know you guys can do it. So let me show you what the end robot, what your robot should look like at the end. All right guys, so I've got my robot. And I've got it so that it drives five rotations forward. It's going to turn and then drive five rotations back. So let me show you what that should look like. Drives out five rotations, turns, and comes right back to where we started. Okay. Now the reason that I don't want to show you the program, one, I want you to figure it out. And I want you to kind of challenge through it and, and try some things and learn how to do it. But secondly, the way that you do it might be different than the way I do it and the way that the group next to you does it. And that's okay. There's lots of ways that we can program it and and do it. And as long as we get it to do and it, what we basically want it to do is to drive forward, turn around, and drive back, then that's great. There's lots of ways that you can program and get the job done. So that's what we wanted to do. That's, we're going to have a drive forward, turn, and then drive back.